In this problem, we have the equation of a circle, and we have to complete the square and write it in standard form, find the center and radius, and graph it. So the first step when we're completing the square is to group all of the x's together and group all of the y's together and get rid of this uh, constant. So let's do that. So we have x squared, and the other x term is this one, this negative 2x. So I'll just put it there, minus 2x. Then we have the y squared. And then we have the minus uh, 4y. And then we have this negative 20, and so we can just add it to the other side. So it's equal to 20. All right, you just do plus 20, plus 20, boom, it's gone. All right, now we're going to complete the square twice. So we start by writing down x squared minus 2x. And now we have to add something here. So to figure out what to add, you take the number in front of the x, you divide it by 2 and square it. Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Boom. Let me do it on the side. You take negative 2, you divide it by 2, and you square it. So that'll be negative 1 squared. So that's 1. Always just take this number, divide it by 2, and square it. Then you write the next piece, plus y squared minus 4y. Then you do the same thing except with this number here in front of the y. So negative 4 over 2 squared. Again, you can do it mentally. Negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Or if you want, you can go to the side and show the work like this. Boom, 4. So we have plus 4. And that's equal to 20. But what you add to one side, you have to add to the other. So we added a 1 and a 4. So we have to add a 1 and a 4. Okay, recap. Just go over it one more time. So you have x squared minus 2x. Take negative 2. Divide it by 2 and square it. Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Boom, there it is right there. y squared minus 4y. y squared minus 4y. Take the negative 4. Divide it by 2 and square it. Negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Boom, there it is. And then once you add to one side, you add to the other. So we added a 1 and a 4. So we add a 1 and a 4. The next step is just from memory. We're going to take these two expressions and we're going to factor them. How? Just memory. These are called perfect square trinomials. So basically the first one is going to look like this. And you just keep the sign. So always keep the sign. And then just divide this number by 2. So you just get 1. 2 over 2 is 1. You keep the sign. Bring down the plus. Do the same thing here. Keep the sign. 4 over 2 is, one, is 2. Then here you get 25. So again, here you just divide it by 2. So you get 1. Keep the sign. Here you just divide it by 2. So you get 2. Keep the sign. This is called the standard form of a circle. To find the center of the circle, all you have to do is switch the signs. So it's negative, so it becomes positive. It's negative, so it becomes positive. Just switch it, switch it. Switch the signs. And the radius, all you do is take the square root of this number here. So the square root of 25 is equal to 5. Boom. All right. So now we have our center and our radius, and so now we can do a rough sketch of the circle. So I'll do it by, by hand. So here's the y-axis, and here's the x-axis. And so you start from the center. So the center is 1, 2. So that means from the origin, you go um, right 1 and up 2. So 1, 1, 2, and you put a dot. And that's where we start counting from. So the radius is 5. So that means from the center, you just go up and down, left and right by 5. So I'm going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. I'm going to go right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. I'll go left 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. <laughs> down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. Just go up, down, left, and right by 5. And then you just connect the dots and try to make a circular object. If you're doing this by hand. If you're doing this like for like online homework, um, which you might be, you just use the graphing tools that they give you. So that's it. There's our pretty good circle. I hope this video has been helpful.